How to get the best free legendary katana in Cyberpunk 2077. Today I'm going to show you how you can get the legendary Satori even if you missed it like I did. Hello comrades, Ivan is a German is back for you guys and today I'm going to show you how you can get the Satori even if you missed the highest mission. It's a main story mission in Cyberpunk 2077. I missed the Satori too because I want to continue in the main story. There is a method how you can get the Satori back and you can upgrade it to a legendary version and we are going to compare is the legendary version of the Satori worth it and is there maybe a better option? And another quick thing, if you want to be a better gamer, subscribe to the Inside Gaming channel. We want to improve your gameplay and that you can become a better gamer. But of course the Satori is the best katana right now in the game. And of course I'm going to show you why it is the best katana in the game, that's why it's important to watch the whole video. The start of your journey is in Watson, a little China and you want to go to the quick access point California. It's the nearest point to the building you want to enter. Go in a car and drive down the main road. You don't have to swim or anything, but you need the double jump cyberware for 45,000. You can get this cyberware from a ripper dog. It's necessary for this run. So if you have a car, it doesn't matter which one, you can use the normal car during your main story or during your journey. Just drive down the main road till you get to these fences without the wires on the top and you can double jump. That's why you need it for the first time. You can double jump over it. Of course you can swim around, but it's not necessary. The double jump from here is the fastest way and you will need your double jump later on. You can do a glitch with the same method jump on this fence and you can run around, but it's a little bit more trickier than this version. Right now, jump to the front end of the building and you also need your car again. But first of all, destroy those little barricades and you will or you have to have a car next to you. So go into your car and this, this is the trickiest way. You have to place your car in front of the door because this door is locked and you have to move a little bit around, try around and I will show you a little bit detailed which angle is the right one to glitch into the door. It works, I did it today and as you can see you are glitching through the door and the door is going to open. You can do a method with a police that the police is spawning behind the door and the police is going to open this door, but I didn't find any civilians nearby. Right now you're going back the same way if you left the building like you left the building in the main story and you're going all the way back. I speed it a little bit up that this video is not going to, is not going to be that long for you guys. It's the same way you left the building. There are even the bodies on the ground. If you do not loot it completely, they are still on the ground. And as I said, it's the same way. And right now you can see why your double jump is so important. So first things first, just jump straight on and spam your jump button to get up. And also it's important to a little bit delay your second jump. This can help a lot. Even on this position and the next one, delay your double jump a little bit more that you can get it right, get things done right. Aim for the corner, double jump again, delay it a little bit and spam your jump button to climb up the corner. So, and that's basically it. You can loot much more stuff, clothings and all that, st all that stuff which you forgot to loot. And right now this door is still open and you can get upstairs. Even here, some stuff you can loot if you forget it like I did. And fun thing, I checked the door, it was locked. And right after you have to escape, the door is open. So there's no chopper anymore, but still the Satori Katana Blade. And you can get it, as you can see, I'm on level 47. The Katana has a DPS of 970, but the strong thing about the Satori is the 500, but the strong thing of the Satori is the plus 500 crit damage. That's insane. So how to get the legendary version? First of all, you need both perks to craft a legendary version and a epic version. That's why you have to have a technical skill on level 18 and two points into your crafting skill to craft the Satori. After you crafted the Satori, in my version it had around 1380 DPS. You can upgrade it of course, but it's very expensive to get around 1400 DPS. If you compare both 
in my opinion, best blades in the game. The left one is my current version. You need a street credibility of level 11 and you can buy it anytime further in the game. You can buy it even on level 50. On level 50, this katana has around 2400 DPS and a crit damage about 110%. Of course, it's not the same crit damage like the Satori, but that's why the Satori is so impressive in terms of the crit damage and the whole blade build base is based on crit damage. I will link your video right here in the info card about the best build in Cyberpunk 2077, which is in my opinion a blade build, a fast blade build, and both katanas are insanely good and fits perfectly in this build. So if you have any questions, type it in the comments below and do not forget to give this video a like if you like what you see to show the world we Germans can at least something. And if you like, I would appreciate it to show it to the world. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you for your support. Bye.